What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So over the past few months I got to try quite a few rugged phones and I know that rugged phones aren't exactly for everyone because they are bigger, they don't look as nice, but um, there are still a lot of people that prefer rugged phones over regular phones because of their jobs, because of their more active lifestyle and so on. Now at the same time nobody wants to spend over a thousand dollars on a rugged phone and you shouldn't because there are so many other cheaper alternatives that are actually pretty good. So today I'm gonna show you the top 3 best affordable rugged phones from the ones that I got to personally try myself. And if you wanna check out the reviews for any of these phones I will leave some links in the video's description. Alright, so we're gonna start with number 3. So here we have the AGM A9. This is a phone that you can buy for around $250 and this is probably the best looking rugged phone that I've ever seen. And even though it doesn't necessarily look like a rugged device, it's still waterproof and shockproof. So you can drop the phone as many times as you want and the phone will survive. A very cool feature for this device is the ability to use the screen with gloves on. So if you're working on something and uh, you have some gloves on, or if you're outside, it's cold and uh, you're using gloves, you can still use the screen with gloves. Inside this phone, we have the Snapdragon 450 CPU. This is an octa-core CPU that's very power efficient. And uh, we also have a 5400 mAh battery. And uh, combining that battery with that power efficient CPU, you should be able to get between 10 to 12 hours of screen on time, which is really good for any phone at any price. Now with that CPU you also have 3 or 4 gigs of RAM depending which version of the device you get but even 3 gigs of RAM should be more than enough because the phone is running a stock Android so nothing holding the phone back. We even get a beautiful 6 inch screen with a 1080p resolution and that means that you can watch YouTube videos at a 1080p resolution. We get some of the loudest speakers that I've heard on any mobile device however the speakers are on the back of the device so not pointing towards yourself and on top of that we even have NFC so you can make payments with your smartphone. The front and rear cameras are also pretty decent but you're gonna notice that they don't do that amazing in low light but that's kind of the case with all the rugged phones that I've tried. So for around $250 you get one of the best looking rugged phones out there that also performs really good. Alright and I guess we are moving on to number 2. So number 2 we have the biggest and heaviest phone that I have ever seen. This is called the Doogie S80 and this is not only a phone, this is also a digital walkie talkie. So you could technically use this in places where there is no phone signal. Now this is the most expensive out of the three. So if you're looking to buy this phone you're gonna have to spend somewhere around $350. But for that price we do get a lot. So we get a 10,080 mAh battery that will keep the phone going for days and you can get between 15 to 20 hours of screen on time. So definitely a lot. Not to mention that the phone supports fast charging and wireless charging and that, that's definitely convenient. Just like the previous phone, this one supports NFC and that means that you can make payments with the phone or transfer files in between devices. And this phone is powered by the MediaTek Helio P23, which is a very power efficient CPU, but also a powerful CPU. That CPU is paired with 6 gigs of RAM and the phone runs Android 8.1 and the launcher is somewhat close to stock Android. So the phone performs good for pretty much everything that you're gonna do. On top of that we get a 6 inch screen with a 1080p resolution that looks absolutely gorgeous. So really no complaints about this phone either aside from its size because this is um, as I said at the beginning the biggest and heaviest phone that I have ever seen. So for most people that's going to be the biggest disadvantage with this phone, the size. And if you don't um, want to deal with that size, you can probably choose one of the other two because they're so much easier to live with. The cameras on this phone are also pretty average and just as we've seen with the previous phone, they do great if you have plenty of light, not that great if you don't have enough light. But that's kind of the case with all the rugged phones that I've ever tried. So the biggest downside with this phone is definitely the size, but either than that, the phone is pretty awesome. Alright, and moving on to number um, one here, we have the latest phone from Kubot called the King Kong 3. So I feel that this one offers the best value out of the three, plus this is also the cheapest one out of the three. So you can find this one for just about $180 and we get similar performance. The phone is also shockproof, waterproof, it offers NFC and so on. Now with this one we get a 5.5 inch screen that has a 720p resolution and I know the resolution may be disappointing for some but let's keep in mind the price difference. The 6000 mAh battery inside it offers um, somewhere between 10 to 12 hours of screen time but if that's not enough the phone supports um, fast charging as well. 
Now the cameras are just like the cameras that we've seen on the other two. So once again, if you have plenty of light, the pictures turn out great. When you don't have enough light, um, the pictures don't turn out that great. But as I said um, earlier, uh, this is the case with pretty much all rock devices out there. Now, of course, there is a lot more to be said about each one of these phones, but I just don't want to make this video 20 minutes long. And as I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to check out more information, there will be links to their full reviews um, in the video's description. So hopefully I made it a bit easier to find the best phone for you. If you did like the video, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.